do. What was a video review like on Sunday for you guys, your, your unit? Uh, disappointing. Um, I think anytime you don't really play up to the standard you kind of set for yourself, um, it's not anything Coach needed to tell us. It's not anything Coach Pete needed to get on us for. Um, the proof was in the pudding. I mean, the proof was on film. And uh, as an alum, we didn't play up to the standard. And we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that doesn't happen again. And I think it started today. Um, I haven't seen the GPS numbers of the monitors or whatever, but we were going in practice today. So um, I think there's definitely a, a fire lit under a lot of us. And kind of, it's unfortunate that it took a couple games to figure that out, but I think we're headed in the right direction and kind of had a fresh start, clean slate today, and really got after it. So what sort of things have gone wrong, Brian? Um, just kind of like I touched after the game a little bit, just little details here and there that maybe we weren't so clean, in, clean on in practice Wednesday and Thursday. And then it's the same little clean detail that we weren't able to fix Saturday. Um, so just those little attention to details and kind of, we it can't be just okay to, oh, I, I almost got it in, in practice and then expect it to carry over into the game and be like, oh, I was almost there, but he fell off at the end, you know? Um, I think doing it right and doing it to the standard we set, we hold for ourselves, um, right, every single day um, is kind of where we have to improve on, is in improving in practice. And I think that's something we we definitely did today. I, I haven't seen all the film. I was just watching like a couple clips on my phone downstairs. And from what I saw, it's um, a lot more effort and a lot more engaged from top to bottom. Uh, ones, the twos, the threes. And, um, so it's credit to our coaches for getting us going today. You told us in Atlanta that you sort of took the blame on yourself for that as one of the leaders, maybe the leader of this group. Uh, is there anything that you said to the guys in these past few days and to try to get them going in practice? Um, if there was, that's definitely something we keep in house um, in terms of just, that's kind of a personal thing in terms of um, what's said. But yeah, I mean, I definitely kind of stepped up a little more vocally and kind of tried to get things going a little bit more, jump started a little today. Um, and so did Alex Boxer. So we kind of tag team that. But in terms of what was said, that's kind of something we keep internally. But there definitely was some things said and kind of hopefully it makes a change and it starts with us too. Um, and it starts with me. So um, just trying to set the best example I can every day. Your transition to left tackle seemed to have gone pretty smoothly in training camp. How has it uh, transitioned onto the games? Yeah, um, obviously I don't think I'm playing. I've played in the last couple of games at the level I set for myself. Um, but that being said, I think I've done a couple of things nicely here and there, but <laughs> just consistency. Um, I think um, in terms of pass protection, uh, there's always just one or two plays where you kind of wish you could have back um, in the past couple of weeks. And so, um, just trying to get rid of those one or two here and there in terms of um, just like straight up getting beat. Um, I want to eliminate those and uh, I'll be a lot happier with my performance. And if, I can, if we can move people in the in the run game and kind of protect the quarterback a lot better than we have. Just if, if everybody picks up their game and me included, I'll be a lot happier than where I am right now. What can you tell us about Rice, especially their uh, front three or front seven, I guess? Yeah, um, Rice first thing that stands out is number 44 is a really good player. Um, he's their joker, they're big and their odd package. Um, he's a really good player with a high motor. Um, he's really good with his hands. He's gonna present, present a lot of challenges for us. Um, all the respect to him. And then the guy who also rotates in with him, number 94, I think his name's Grayson, um, is, is also a really good player. Um, so just little different things with the odd. We, we don't see it every day. Um, so that's kind of why it's so imperative that this week of practice is really good with the details so that there's not just a little thing here you wish you could have done better on Saturday. Um, it's, we did it right. Tuesday, there was a little tweak here and we fixed it on Wednesday. So um, I really hope the little details we didn't get right today will be a lot better tomorrow. Um, and that transition from day one to day two of practice is better this week than it was last week. Is 44 gonna be coming at you or is he gonna be coming more at Bookser or do they sort of move him around? Uh, they kind of move him around um, based off what their scheme allows and the formations and whether it's to the field or the boundary, whatever it is, but he's definitely a guy that um, we've highlighted as one of their gamers and that kind of we have to put a little extra attention towards and that's only as a byproduct of how he's shown on tape that he's a great player. So going to go on with a lot of respect for him and a lot of respect for the other guys. The inside guys are tough to move, so um, we, we got to ramp it up a little bit. Outside of Jimmy, it's a pretty experienced group. Uh, you guys have a lot of games under your belt. Does that make it easier to go into a week and say, hey, we, we didn't reach the standard we were, we, we hold ourselves to, but these are the things that we need to work on this week and focus in practice? Yeah, and I think a lot of guys who have been here before kind of understood um, what preparation went into when we've had success. And that's kind of one thing we've talked is 
um, when we have had success, it's because we were going to practice and we were really getting after it. And, I mean, personally, I went back Sunday night and watched the Georgia Tech practices leading up to Georgia Tech last year um, and just kind of just see why, why things weren't really kind of clicking for us. And um, it's, it's, it falls on the players. Um, it falls on us up front, and uh, we're going to do a lot better at it. Is it a big difference between the last year's practice and this year's practice? I just think we kind of had a little bit more of an attitude then with like a nasty streak. Kind of we had, we, had, we were a little hungrier. Um, just that's just kind of something that jumps out on tape. I mean, obviously, X's and O's are a little different, but um, there's always just you want to play with a little edge. And not that we lost it, but I think um, we need to focus on it a little more and just understand that. Yeah, since who cares that we've had success before? Kind of, you got to go take it right now, and it's not just gonna. You can't just show up on Saturdays and get it done.